All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, looking at this, we know we want to evaluate. We don't want to use the power rule because we know if we use the power rule here, we're going to have an issue, right? So, don't use the power rule. Um, but we know that we can evaluate this, Lin. Uh, ln of absolute value of x from e squared to 1. Yes? And therefore, we have the ln of absolute value of e squared minus ln of absolute value of 1. Now, we only really need to use the absolute value, guys, if we need to like, apply them. But both of these here are positive values. So if we want to further simplify, we don't really need the absolute value of e squared. We know that's always positive, right? We don't really need the absolute value of 1. We know the absolute value of 1 is 1, right? So we're kind of good there. So let's go ahead and simplify this. Well, using your rules of exponents that we have used, um, ln of e squared is just going to be 2. And then ln of 1 is going to be 0. So your answer is 2. If you guys remember when we did those notes on the rules of exponents, please make sure you guys know those, especially for natural logarithms. I can't even tell.